Let's go. It is September the 11th, 2018. All right, so I talked a little bit yesterday on my on my way into work about this awkward press conference on Sunday with Dirk Cutter and the interaction between him and the reporter when he was asked about who was calling the offensive plays. Now, we've learned for sure that it was Todd Munkin making the play calls. Um, I don't know. I still don't know. I didn't get completely into it. I don't know if Todd Munkin was up in the booth or if he was on the sidelines. I personally like the idea of your offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator, for that matter, being up in the booth. I just think they have a better view when they're calling the plays. I like it. I've even, I I remember hearing like Dirk Cutter all season last year, even the year before, talk about how hard it was. Well, you know, I got to wait till tomorrow and I watch the film and then I can get back to you and tell you what was going on there. Like, how are you supposed to make adjustments if you're down on the field and you can't really... I don't know. Just my personal opinion. I like the plays being called from up in the booth. But, again, I don't know for sure if that's what was going on on Sunday. But we do know for sure that it was Todd Munkin. And I think most Buck fans that are paying attention saw Donovan Smith's uh, reaction after the game and the way that he kind of went up to Todd and just kind of went crazy. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't know if I really want to get into a discussion right in this moment about Jameis Winston versus Fitzpatrick. Um, I will agree with anyone saying that Jameis Winston might want to watch out, right? That that I don't think that it's a given that he gets his job back if, if Fitzpatrick continues to play well. I'm not personally a big believer in Fitzpatrick taking us all the way or, you know, being the answer long term. I think for a few games, I think the guy can play really well. My personal opinion is that it was the play calling that made the difference. I feel like, you know, and this is why I have a problem with the way that Dirk Cutter responded to that question, because I do believe that the play calling made a big difference. I do believe that the offensive line played much better and gave Fitzpatrick more protection than Jameis Winston had all season last year. But, again, I'm not going to sit here and say if Jameis Winston was a quarterback, he would have done just as well because Fitzpatrick was laying the ball on the money. I mean, the dude was hitting his guys. Other than there was one play uh, where Mike Evans ended up being wide open and he overthrew him. Um, Other than that one play, I can't think of any that, that he was off. I mean, he was on, like, all day yesterday or Sunday. So... You know, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, Jameis Winston would have done the same thing. But, but I mean, there was some guys getting some big time separation in that game. And, uh, and I think that Jameis Winston would have done well. Um, I think it was the play calling that made the difference and, and just the execution on the field that made the difference as well. So, you know, I don't know, but nevertheless, I, I, I still don't necessarily like the way that it just it just continues to feel like Dirk Cutter is like I don't know like it, it's like he doesn't want to give Todd the credit like they asked a couple of times like you know how great is is Todd and blah 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 and he just he almost like downplayed it like well all the coaches are you know team guys and all the coaches are just for a moment give you guys some praise man and uh you know I don't know how Todd how he's going to take it he seems like one of those guys that it's not really going to bother him either way. But but again, if if going forward, if, if this is a big deal and Todd is really the reason why we did so well, which, I mean, again, it's hard to say. It's one game um, against a defense that really didn't play very well to boot. Um, you know, you don't want any hard feelings and a guy like that to be upset. And, you know, a year from now, somebody comes along offering him a job and he's like, peace, I'm out. Um I'm weird about stuff like that, you know, and I just don't, I don't know. I'm overthinking right now after one game, I'm sure, but I'm certainly not the only uh, NFL fan that overthinks after one game. So, uh, especially Raider fan right now. Having said that, I I do clearly remember the Bucs losing their home opener uh, whenever John Gruden came aboard as our head coach, and we went on to win the Super Bowl. So, Raider fan might want to calm down just a little bit. Having said that, they didn't look very good. Having said that, the Rams are pretty stacked. They really are. 
So, anyways, I'm on my way into work. God bless everyone that went through something, lost a family member, lost their life on this day. Um, we'll never forget. This was the day that opened my eyes, and, and that's about all I'll get into on this channel. Uh, maybe on my other channel I'll talk a little bit more about today. But, uh, nevertheless, uh, we will continue to see uh, what goes on. I think we got more pressers tomorrow. I think Wednesday is kind of a blah day, but Thursday will be, I think, Todd Munkin. And that, whenever he talks, either tomorrow or Thursday, I think it's Thursday, though, that'll be the one that I'm paying attention to because I want to see what he's asked. Uh, that's going to be interesting. So talk to you all later. I'm out.